HDR, or High Dynamic Range Graphics for Sim Racing. Is it really HDR? Can you see a difference? Should you even bother? It's probably not on the radar for a lot of gamers using high refresh rate RGB computer monitors because they don't even support HDR. For me, HDR was worth pursuing because my sim rig has a single 55 inch TV that supports 4K HDR display and a set of Corsa has extensive support for HDR via CSP or custom shaders patch and pure weather scripts with a dedicated post-processing filter or PPF called Pure Eye HDR. I'll provide an overview of the Windows and CSB settings at the end of the video. Uh, but first, uh, a view of the side-by-side -side captures. On the left is a HDR 10-bit YUV capture using the BT.2020 color space. And on the right is a standard dynamic range 8-bit YUV. Uh, this uses BT709 or the normal video color space. There may be a few artifacts as I'm using Marillus Action Software um, to capture using hardware encoding on an AMD RX 68000 XT. What I'm noticing is the obvious sun rays or the fingers of God shining through. Um, the accuracy or the range of greens in the trees, particularly at the top right of the screen, um, even the sun's effects on the color of the asphalt in the, in the front bottom part of the screen, but yeah, predominantly the greens uh, in those in those trees. The range of greens in the grass on the infield, um, the glow obviously on the hay bales being more sort of golden, more dynamic, the dynamic range showing the rear tail lights, a little bit more detail in the dark there. The shadow is more, more subtle, a bit more details in the shadow, particularly just under the rear bumper of the car. And again, you're seeing that golden late in day. I think I had this set at like at quarter to five in the afternoon for the time. So that uh, golden hour approaching and seeing that ref that sort of reflected um, onto the onto the car, or at least that golden light on the, uh, on the RX-7. Another one close up of the car, obviously just the, the shadow detail on the left hand side of the door. I mean the, the sun hitting the door line, um, the frame of where that rear door closes. Believability of the, the wheels and the greater shadow detail. Seeing the, that front tyre is not lost all in black. There's obviously more contrast on the standard def and SDR picture on the right, which does help. It looks sharper at times, but uh, the background particularly, if you look at the, that sort of chain link wire fence it's a little bit too prominent on the S on the standard definition one. It should sort of disappear a little bit more on the HDR. A little the detail on the sky, a little bit more detail on the clouds and that grass in the foreground, a little bit more detail on the red Audi, not lost in shadows in the front. And if you look above the Porsche into that dark green sort of tree area, again, not lost in shadows, a little bit more detail in those trees. <laughs> mainly looking at the detail of the sky and the clouds and the hues and obviously that whole grass alongside the track a more subtle change of hues a more subtle range of greens um, mainly looking at shadow detail here on the back of the Audi sky detail probably the best advantage here of the um, subtlety of the shades in the sky but also the foliage of all those trees in the background particularly if you look into the what the shadow or more darker areas aren't lost uh, and again the grass on the the left hand side <laughs> again here mainly up high at the top right the range of greens in the trees and detail into the shadows and perhaps in that foreground too in um, 
the sandy mixed in with the with the grass. Again, another one close up of a car, which I discussed before with the tire details and the shadow, the believability of the reflection of the glass looking through into the car. But also, if you look at the building at the top left of the screen, the, the brightness of that sun into that building and grass area there, but mainly how that bright, that afternoon sun, a very low angle of sun there, so that would be quite bright on a building facing the sun setting. And finally here, just another one of the trees, um, the shadow and the range of greens. Very subtle, but that green part of the extra track extension, the green to the, to the right of the Mazda RX-7 there, just the, the subtleties of that green, the sun and the way it lights, or particularly on that Porsche 928, the reflection and the way that the late afternoon sun is hitting the back and side of that car. And, um, you know, getting a bit of orange glow on the wheels, for instance, which gets lost in the standard definition one. You will require Windows 10 for HDR. So you want to go to your display preferences in Windows 10, select your display and ensure that uh, use HDR is on uh, for that display. In custom shaders patch, uh, you probably need a later version. I happen to be using 0.1.79 Preview 5. Under extension DXGI, you will need to enable the new DXGI flip model. You need to make sure the HDR support is ticked. You also need the ones below with HDR support for Yebis. In graphics adjustments for AMD cards, you need to make sure that AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution is disabled. It's not compatible with HDR. In um, a set of Corsa, obviously choose your pure HDR I uh, PPF, which is part of the pure distribution from Peter Bose. Um, and most importantly, you need to run it in windowed, um, not in full screen mode. HDR will only work in Windows 10 when you run a set of Corsa in, um, with, in Windows mode. Don't select full screen.